Hi, I'm Mike Thompson, and today I'm going to be assembling a 3D printer, specifically the Lulzbot TAS-5. Now, I've never assembled a 3D printer before, but I figure it can't be all that difficult. Let's just go find out. So we've got a whole bunch of foam. It looks like a little tool kit. Oh, that's nice. This is packed really, really well. Uh, let's take this out of here. Okay, there's a power supply and some other things down here, and some really detailed instructions. And now I'm going to very gently remove the Y-axis table here from inside the machine. Well, that was interesting. I think I made it work, but since the box or stickers or something was upside down, I didn't see this uh, until the very last thing. I already had the entire thing out before I found this, because the box, as you saw, said this side up. Well, um, the unpacking instructions, which are very thorough, very, very impressive. It tells you step by step how to get carefully get this thing out of the box. Well, these were on the very bottom, so I had to get everything else out first before I figured out how to get it out. So, oops. Uh, I'm sure it was just a sticker issue on the outside of the box. I doubt the entire box could have been packed upside down. However, uh, so far, so good. That concluded step... Uh, well, I had to skip ahead, obviously. Um... So now I'm getting ready to mount this to this. Uh, it's telling me to take off a bunch of tape, so I'm going to go through and do that. It's wanting me to locate the four Y-axis bolts on the lower frame. See the green circles below? Turn counterclockwise to loose. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. So it's these four right here in the bottom center of the frame. They're just little thumb screws. Pretty easy so far. Locate the Y-axis mount brackets with the print surface facing up and the stepper motor into the Y-axis facing back. Slide the Y assembly onto those brackets. So let's do that. Stepper motor in the back. This is obviously the front. Here's the stepper motor. So we're going to take this and twist it around like so. Get this cable out of my way. Okay, now we can go back just a ways. Look at that, it just fits. Okay. And now, put the bolts back in. However, note, before completely tightening the Y-axis bolts, push down on the Y-axis aluminum bars against the printer frame lower bars by slightly tilting the printer onto its side edge, enough to lift the feet of the Y-axis off the table. The weight of the Y-axis will seat itself against the printer's frame. And they say the weight of the Y-axis will allow me to seat this. That's not too bad. Push this back here so I can get to the front ones again. Yeah, there is a lot more play now. There we go. Okay, now we pull the Y-axis all the way to the front and connect these cables here at the back. They look idiot-proofed because they're totally different shapes and sizes. Now I open the tool bag and this is a really nice touch. A full set of Allen wrenches. They're metric, but I still like them. So, it's time to now mount the print head. This printer head assembly is really cool. The majority of the parts here uh, are 3D printed. So we take out this screw in the top center of the X-axis carriage. There's a nice slot right here that this tapered tab fits into. So it's gonna go like this, and move that wire out of the way. All right, and we put this back in place. Well, that was pretty slick. And the power connections. Power on one, and power on two. It's alive. And the SD card goes in right here. 
Well, it's a piece of cake so far. Now it's time to attach the filament guide tube. We're going to pop that on like so. And this is going to go over this way. There's a little bit of uh, test filament left here inside the tool head. So I'm just going to stick that right on top of there. And then we use a business card or a folded piece of paper as a spacer between the bed and the bottom of the nozzle as we make the fine adjustments here in each corner to get it level. Now the software that this recommends that you use is Cura. It's a free download. Uh, make sure you set it for the Lulzbot edition. You can search for Cura, C-U-R-A, on Google, and uh, it'll take you where you need to go. These instructions make it super, super simple to assemble a Lulzbot. I was actually surprised at how simple it really was. They did a great job with these instructions, and I'm sure there's all sorts of stuff online, including this video now, uh, if you get kind of stuck and wonder what the heck to do. I've got the bed and the extruder nozzle heating, and pretty soon I'll have a functional part like this little uh, rotor blade lock here. Anyway, you can see this definitely isn't that difficult at all. You can do it yourself, just don't be afraid to try. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.